Hello class, today we are doing peacock printing on our hands. We're going to print the peacock's feathers in this circular motion, like I did here. And you can see I printed my fingers. We're going to leave the palm unpainted, and I'll show you why. Because we need this area around the peacock to be nice and clean, so we can put different types of feathers. They're kind of like upside down frowns. They go differently. So these feathers go up and down in a circular radial way. And these feathers around go up kind of like little hills, rolling hills right here around the peacock. And then we're going to learn how to draw the peacock. Let's get started. Okay. All right, first stop, don't forget to sign your name. Artists usually sign their name on the front and in the right corner. Miss Freeman. And if I was in a class, I'll write a class code. My class code, zero, one, okay? Your class code is gonna be different. Now, you're gonna get a sponge. You're gonna put very little water like this just a few drops with your, with your brush, and then you're gonna swirl. And you're just gonna swirl enough to get enough paint on your sponge. Then you're gonna paint your fingers only, including the thumb, and we're gonna start printing. So let's start the first one like this. Ta-da! And then keep adding a little bit more paint and go around between each finger. And you can do it faster. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can do a few prints between each load. So this is called, this is called load. You're loading your fingers with paint. And I'm going to turn my paper around because it's easier for me, for my hand to go all the way around the paper, all the way to the corner. Okay easier for me to do it if I turn my paper. And I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm not doing too much of the thumb, I, I just noticed. But I like that. So when you finish with this part, and you can add slightly more on the bottom. Like that just to give it an extra layer if you like that look or you could stop right there it's up to you I'm going to add another layer like so now I have a full tail peacock tail now I'm going to stop and I'm going to go to my next step for my next step I'm going to rinse my brush just regular water cup and I'm going to load up some blue, but it's up to you what color you want your peacock to be. And I'm going to start with drawing a circle. And peacock shape, it looks a lot like pinball. So we're going to do a long neck and then another circle, but connect it to the neck. See? That's about the shape of a peacock. And if you notice this one, I put lighter color in the middle to achieve that pretty shading. So at this point, I'm not going to raise my brush because I might still have some paint in here. And I'm going to use that paint to go around and make some dots for my peacock eyes, some, some darker eyes. And then I'm going to raise my brush. Now, I'm ready to load up my next color. I picked turquoise in here, but this time I'm going to pick light green just so I'll do something a little bit different. I keep my paint, paint palette, pick up some green. And I'm going to put some green, and maybe I'm going to leave that yellow. I like how that yellow is completely showing. so. Um, on that stomach, so it really looks nice for blending. 
And again, I'm not going to wash my brush because I still have a lot of that green. And under each blue dot that I made, I'm going to make a green dot. Sort of like a quick dot. Wash your brush. Clean it on the side. Clean it on the side, wash it, and then clean it on the side like this. Okay. So for next color, I'm going to choose purple. I'm going to swirl and then my brush on top of the purple, no digging. If you do that, it's not going to load up more paint. It's going to load up this way and it stands in a circular motion. So doing this to a brush, it's not going to pick up any and you can't paint with brush that looks like this. You're giving it a bare haircut. See how that brush looks like? Wow. And then the circle is not going to be pretty. But look what happens when I dance my brush to a point around the palette. Look how nice that looks like. It's loaded and ready to paint. Now, I'd like to make more purple eyes around my peacock. I'm going pretty evenly and I'm touching it. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's kind of nice and artistic and it just lands any way it does. But you can certainly take your time and make a perfect circle like this if you like. Maybe make some of the irregular circles and one of the big ones too just to make it look different. That's fine, if you like that look. Okay? That will be a different look too. You're fine doing that. Now wash your brush. Clean it on the side like I was teaching you, just like this. Clean it on the side. And I'm going to load up some red again. We are not loading up like this. We're not giving a bad haircut. No. We're going to swirl very gently in the water. And you see, I'm kind of turning my brush even this way, loading it up. See? Do you know how to do that? It's sort of like sharpening a pencil. Try that. And then on the side, so you don't have too much water on your brush, clean it on the side of that palette. Now. I'm going to do a, a beak. Notice the beak on a peacock is pointing down. So the first line goes down. And then it's going to be like almost a triangle coming up. And one more line in the middle. And then I'm going to do three lines for the peacock crown. One, two, three. And don't worry when your brush did more than one line because it's bright. That's fine. Actually, it looks kind of nice. One, two, three. I made my crown. So for the next part, we're going to do upside down smiles, and mountain shape all around in this area where our palm the palm of our hand was, and we didn't paint it on purpose, so that we could paint these type of different feathers that peacock has. See how many I did? It's like a rolling hills. And then I'm not going to wash my brush because I probably still have some paint on it. So I'm just going to add a little smiley face underneath each of my little balls that I made for the eyes, peacock eyes. I'm just going to keep adding the colors until my brush doesn't have any more color left, just to make my crown, the peacock feather crown, very nice and rich with detail. Wash your brush.
Now we're ready for the next part. We're gonna load some maybe green. And load it in up circle in. Circle, circle, circle. Green on the side. And we're gonna add more of the same shape we did now. Except this time I'm pushing down and making thicker lines. Still upside down frown, so if you look at it this way, it's still smiley faces. And if you're looking at it from here, it's upside down frown. We're doing this shape over and over and making a little bit, bit thicker, thicker lines. Perfect. I'm going to wash my brush now, since I ran out of color anyway. And maybe I'm going to need some orange. See how I cleaned up my color just by swirling and loading that brush correctly? And now I'm going to add some details to the crown. Maybe make more orange, give more orange to my crown. Put some orange above my red or in any places that I want to still fill in around the peacock. And also, I'm going to give him two orange little feet or le uh, legs. Okay. Maybe I'll just do one last little <coughs> detail at the end of each feather like so and we can rinse our brush now I'm going to load up darker green and I'm going to make a little V V shape see V it's going to look like feathers and I'm going along those fingers that I printed little V shape so it looks like feathers with the V shape I'm going to close up and I'm going to go little V like so and I'm going to go all around the peacock Maybe a little bit of black for his eye, but it can be a different color. Maybe a few black highlights, a low light, should I say, to highlight any areas that I like to highlight. Low light, meaning shadows. Highlights, meaning drawing with white, where the light reflects. Just for some shadow. So, <clears throat> maybe do a few more lines coming this way across those little running heels to give it more dimension. Finish any details that you like on your peacock. You might have a silver paint like this one that you can load up and add little highlights like in here and you can even add highlights to the crown or beak, the beak or to the belly or anywhere you think the light would touch up and sun kiss your painting and your peacock or wherever you think it would look good because it is your painting and it is your world so and it's your imagination so you can create your favorite color and when you're done check that your painting is signed 
I can't wait how yours will turn out. Now it's your turn.